Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over more get data and set data methods. I went over them before, but I don't think I was completely clear on a few things. So I made this code. I changed the HTML just a little bit, so I made it nice and simple. We'll have a drag me right here and then a drop zone. So button, draggable, and then we'll have drop zone, drop here div. There is no dragability of this particular div. Okay, just to the drag me. What I did right here is we'll make a query selector for the draggable and the drop zone. We're only we're going to use both of them. When when we mentioned e dot data transfer dot set data, we said that this is the type. Okay, it's almost like a variable, right? You could put anything here, but um, as convention, you put what this actually is. It's going to be text or a string. And I'll say this works. So I'll say string result equals will get the data. So we set the data value. The text value is this works. Then we'll get the data of the text, which will be this works, right? So every time I activate this method of drag start, it will print this works, correct? Let's keep going down the line. Now I did it for all of these on functions, specifically for drag and drop. So on drag, I did the same thing. I'll get the data and print it. Drag end, drag enter, drag over. So these are more drops, right? So this is going to be drop, on drag enter, on drag leave, and on drop. Okay? So everything we've learned so far. What is my point? Well, my point is, if you think about it, look at the lexical scope. If I set e.datatransfer.setData, it should end right at the lexical scope, right? It, and it should not be accessible anywhere here. The problem with it is, it is. It's not available anywhere else except for the on drop. Okay, don't believe me? Let's check it out, okay? So, drag enter. This works, okay? We mentioned that before. Up here, it works right here, and that's appropriate. It's the proper lexical scope within the same brackets, curly brackets. I move it. Nothing else is working, right, inside of here. So on drag leave, on drag end, um, excuse me, on drag end, I let it go, and it, nothing more happens. So it doesn't print this works again. These are both are from the drag start. Drag start, right? I drag enter. It's still not activating. I drag over. I drag leave and nothing works. But watch when I um, drop on drop, it activates it again. Okay, so none of these are actually doing anything. None of these, um, they're, they're triggering. So we see these numbers going up. These are actually triggering, but they're not actually printing anything because there's nothing to print. When it comes to on drop, it actually is printing the result. Why? Because on drag start and on drop is somehow connected. I don't exactly know how, but it is somehow connected and they, they have the both the same type of scope. So you have to remember that. And we will go over this in a future video, uh, an example of this. You have this data, you create it, and you put this setter and you put it somewhere in some negative zone somewhere so you can get it later and you can get it on the drop. I don't see how you can get it anywhere else. I don't think you actually can. But we actually will, because this is the simplest method and tested that we possibly could do. But now we're going to um, do on drop and we're able to get that information either on, on drag start or on drop in order to get the data back again. All right, and that's going to be important. Again, like I said, in the upcoming video, but just to keep that in mind when you're playing around with it, this took me a while to figure out, um, when you play around with it, you can only get the data in certain methods. And that is, once again, on drop and on drag start, probably because of, because of lexical scoping, and there's only one exception to that particular rule. Okay? Thank you.